Hello and welcome to the seventh episode in our series on multiple sclerosis. In the previous episode, we understood about some of the important mental health issues that are faced by patients with multiple sclerosis. In this episode, we will try to understand how these problems are assessed by the doctor and what are the therapeutic strategies. Come, let us meet our expert. When someone receives a diagnosis of MS, it can evoke us emotions in them. It can The emotions can be sadness, shock, anger, it can be even worries and anxiety. Now these are some of these emotions are quite normal because they are just there for a transient period of time. However, when they persist beyond a particular point of time, let's say more than two weeks, all these uh, emotions are significant and they are not able to sleep, they are not able to eat they are constantly thinking about it then a clinical assessment is very important so as when the clinician uh, interviews the person they talk about the persistent symptoms other associated problems and then make a diagnosis of uh, depression along with interview scales there are scales which are used to assess depression as well as anxiety so there are certain items of anxiety and depression so the person can go through these items and then uh, uh, rate them so based on that also that, that's a very useful information for us to diagnose uh, depression and anxiety So I'm going to focus on depression and anxiety. So first and foremost, we look at what are the causes that could be associated with depression. Is it medication related? Is it illness related? Are there any other stressors that are associated with depression or anxiety? And then assess the severity of the depression as well as severity of anxiety. And also, like I had discussed earlier, uh, suicidality. If somebody has, you know, death wishes or suicidal ideation, then the management treatment is slightly different. So the treatment options that are available are psychotherapy, that is what we call in layman term counseling, as well as medications. So based on the severity and other factors, we make a decision with the, the person is given choices of treatment and then they can make a, we can make a shared decision in terms of treatment of uh, depression and anxiety. This concludes the seventh episode in our series on multiple sclerosis. In this episode, we understood how a doctor will assess mental health problems in MS patients and what are the therapeutic strategies applied for care of such problems. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.